Hey, how's it going guys? Really quick before the video starts, I just wanted to apologize that the first bit of this video I uh, had some issues with the um, video, uh, so the audio just wouldn't make sense. So the first bit of this video during the narrate part, and you guys will see during the game, uh, it's just going to be the video on the game sound, so you guys can kind of read it yourself and kind of make it your own story. I thought that would be cooler anyway. You'll get what I mean here in a second. I don't want to spoil too much. But there is commentary in this video. I apologize. It's just a little bit like farther in. So we'll be all good there. Don't worry about it. But um, yeah, make sure you leave a like for the new uh, playthrough. We're going to be playing through the whole game of Firewatch. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome game. Seriously, give it a try. Give the video a try. Even if you've watched a playthrough before, it's just nice to see other people do it. Seriously. So I want to thank you guys a lot for stopping by. I really do hope you enjoy this. It's a little change up in pace uh, for my normal DayZ videos and survival games videos. But it's fun. Seriously. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let's uh, let's let's go down this nice trail though. The game looks pretty good though. I'll be honest, right? Like it's not, it's definitely not too bad. 1980. 
It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. <laughs> you get mad, you, get, you ignore her. Honestly, I'd probably get a little salty that she didn't even say anything. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Look, she came home buzzed after not saying anything. That's her fault, not mine. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plant. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Oh, you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I am a Victoria's Secret model, so that's just perfect. Julia is right. You are very pretty. <laughs> I know, girl. <laughs> I know. Ooh, that's a long drop, but apparently we we okay. This game actually does look like really good though. I'm gonna give it that. Like it, it actually looks pretty solid. I was expecting it to be, to, to not be as good. Two forks, eight miles, an eight mile hike? Is that where we're going? My Lord, Whoop. let's get over it. Ah. Oof, the sun, ew, who likes the sun? 1982, during the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking in mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no. Mayhem runs away. Fuck my dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Well, I'd probably start scrapping, so I'm going to say that. Your arm gets cut up. But you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia has to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. This is like just getting depressing. 1984. Plans to have kids gets away laid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. You know, I definitely wouldn't leave. And I think long distance relationships are terrible. So... No, I'll agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh boy. She's losing her mind, boys. She was found crying in a stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Damn, man. This is brutal. Oh, my journal. Oh, what the f my She better better understand my penis because I need a couple more inches on that bitch. Mayhem is getting older. He's got a sil he's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Oh, is it gonna look up? Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. <laughs> After five minutes, she gets into a goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh shit! I'd be scared too. Uh, well, 
never mind. Uh, <laughs> you were here. Tell her family they're you tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips into and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Man, they're just hitting you right off the bat with this sob story. 1988, I forgot to be reading the dates, but you see him. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. The nurse? He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. Man, these feels right now. It still doesn't really explain why we're wandering out in the middle of Africa with like, just for no reason. Just to clear our mind and we get stranded or what? An eight mile hike though. Ooh, a animal. Hello, friend. Can we just like... No, okay. Oh, we spooked him. I would have never guessed. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a find... You find a find... You, you find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide... Ouch. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. Yeah, because they're fucking accusing me of doing some shit. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her for some. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. I don't need no therapist. The months go by. Mayhem dies. No. Oh, okay. Julia doesn't remember him well when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes you forget, makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Okay. <clears throat> you take it in the butt. Gotcha. I get it now. I get it now. It's dark. Enter the lookout tower. Wonder where that is. <laughs> Damn, I'm so funny, buddy. This game really, though, actually really does look nice. Like, I'm going to give it that. I thought it would look a little worse just for the, the not type of game, just, the, you know, when I watch the trailer and stuff like that. Let there be light. Come on to Forks Tower. No. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> is it glitched? Oh, wait. Forks yeah. Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I answer this beach? Hold left shit to left shit to activate radio. Select dialogue with scroll wheel. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. Taking a drink of coffee, Come boys. On. Yeah, that's what the girls. guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? I can't see out my damn what's windows. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. <clears throat> Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Let's let's t tell a settled joke. A settled joke. I think okay. that's what I'd do. Uh, you've killed three husbands. 
You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Oh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Hey, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Look, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. <clears throat> Day one, boys. Day but a truck and one. Hey, we're using the typewriter. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you We took the boards off, open the window. You can see me at my desk. What if I want to have a fap? Ah, who cares? I'll let her watch. Oh, age restricted video incoming. Left shit to activate the radio again. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah. Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 645. <coughs> Whoops. Don't worry about it. Jesus. Sleeps like me. Commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, I might. Yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. <laughs> You guessed it. Fine. Had to sneeze. What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to. Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. Okay. Lady. Out your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Toys west. End to use fireworks? compass. Oh, right in front of me. Yes, they are. Oh, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Okay, okay. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for uh, all of them. <coughs> Secure. Shut up. Yeah, let's hope, uh... How do I get... Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look at the controls really quick. Oh, okay, so there. I was hoping there was a run. I was like... You better not make me, like, not run this whole time. But th there is a run. I, apparently, it's called a jog. I have to press R. Maybe I can't do it up here. Oh, here we go. Oh, much better. Much better. The beautiful scenery. Okay, guys. We're actually going to call it here for episode one. If you guys do enjoy this and are happy to see kind of like a Let's Play going on this channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. As well as leaving a comment if you want to give me any tips or anything like that. Or just playing out if you liked it or didn't like it and stuff like that. What you did, what you did and all that. Jizzy jazz. Uh, some porn references. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. Intro went to shit. Bye.